Hi guys, welcome back to the Kanani and Weinman YouTube channel. Mr. Beal here um, to do another social skills lesson. Um, we are talking today about inviting others to play. Um, now this is an important skill because when we invite others into our world and we invite them to play with us, we are starting to grow in knowing more and more people. And the more people we know, the more we learn because we learn through relationships. We learn through friendships. And that that's an important part of, of socializing with people. And so today we're going to talk about a um, situation where um, people are going to learn how to invite other people to play. We're also going to be talking about our problem solving steps and how how we problem solve through situations that maybe are new to us or maybe are frustrating or difficult um, and or they're just skills that we've never done before like I said they're new to us then we walk through the steps to help ourselves build better relationships and that's what this is all about so um, I'm gonna show you the picture and I want you um, to make a good guess but first I'm forgetting something I need you to go get your discussion buddy so go ahead pause the video and get your discussion buddy okay well I hope you have your discussion buddy and now I'm gonna show you the picture and what I want you to do again is with your discussion buddy look closely at the picture and make a hypothesis which means a good guess about what you think is happening in the picture and then we'll talk about it and see if your hypothesis was right. Okay, well let's, uh, let's take a close look here. Okay, so look at this picture. Look all around. Look at the people in the picture. And think now, what is happening in this picture? Go ahead, pause the video and discuss. Okay, well I hope you were able to have a good discussion about a hypothesis about what's happening in this picture. Um, and now I'm going to give you the story. Okay, so this is Eddie, the boy Eddie in the sweatshirt. And he is playing ball with Marta over here who has the ball, Marta, okay? And this is Austin. Austin is the boy in the background, standing against the wall. Austin is new to the school and new to their class. And he is watching them play ball. As many kids who watch other kids play, he wants to play ball with them and he wishes he could join them. Eddie notices Austin. He, know, he knows that he is new and he invites he wants to invite Austin to play. But he asks Marta if Austin can play with them. And Marta says, no, we don't know him. I don't want to play with him. Let's just play by ourselves. So, think about your hypothesis. Were you right? Did you guess that that was kind of the situation going on? I, I sure hope so. I'm sure you did. But I want you to, to now, we're going to go one person at a time and think about their different perspectives. And then we're going to try to solve the problem, okay? So, let's start with Eddie. Think about how Eddie feels. Remember, Eddie is right here. He's the one that invited Austin to play. How does Eddie feel now? Pause the video and discuss. Okay. Well, if you were able to discuss and you said that Eddie feels maybe upset, sad, or confused, you are right. And we can tell that because look at his body. He's pointing over to Austin and wants to play, and she's and Marta says no. Now he's feeling probably a little upset. You could tell because he's not smiling and his eyes are maybe a little bit more down. So we can tell he is concerned about Austin having to stand out by himself. So we know that he is confused why Marta won't say, won't say that he can play. Maybe sad and upset 
that um, that the person he wants to play with isn't allowed to. So, let's think about this first problem. The first problem we need to do, part of the part of problem solving steps, is to say the problem. So it's say the problem, think of solutions, explore the consequences. Consequence means a result. So explore the result of what will happen if I make that choice and then pick a solution or make a choice. So, but here's the first one, say the problem. Now, we always have to say the problem without blaming. So Eddie has a problem, doesn't he? His problem is that Marta won't invite Austin to play. So he can't say the problem like, oh, Marta, you never let me get my way or you never let anyone else play. That's kind of saying it with a blaming words. So he needs to state the problem without blaming Marta for the problem. So let's go and look at this and think about how she could use that. So being assertive starts with Eddie looking at Marta and saying, I want Austin to play and you won't let him right now. That is being assertive and it's telling Marta that he should include Austin. And he's telling her the problem. The problem is that she won't let him play right now. That's stating the problem without blame. So, now we're going to use our empathy and think for a second. What is Austin feeling? Look at Austin. He is new to the school. He doesn't know very many people. And he's at recess, a place where lots of kids play and get to know each other. And he's standing at the wall watching. What do you think Austin is feeling? Pause the video and discuss. Well, I hope you're able to pause and you're able to understand that Austin is not feeling very good. He is probably feeling sad and disappointed. Okay? So again, stating the problem without blame, Eddie wants to invite Austin, but Marta doesn't. So that's stating it, not just saying that Marta always or never listens to Eddie, but in this situation, Austin wants to play, but Marta doesn't. That's saying the problem without blame. So, now they need to start thinking of solutions, and that's going to be the next step, and we're going to work into that. But we'll also ask, what would Austin feel? We talked about what Austin would feel if he didn't get to play, but let's say now Eddie and Marta ask Austin to play. How will Austin feel if he's a lot, if he gets invited to play? Pause the video and discuss. Okay, well, if you're like me, you probably guess that if they invite Austin to play, he's going to be very excited about it. He's going to feel happy about it. Um, but if they leave him out, he's probably going to feel lonely, left out, and sad and disappointed. So... Eddie decides he's going to bring a tool from his toolbox, okay? And he's going to bring out self-talk, and he's going to tell himself something. He's going to say, I need to use a calm, assertive voice. So before he talks to Marta, he talks to himself, and he makes sure that he stays calm in his brain and doesn't say something mean that would make Marta not want to or not be open to what he has to say. But he tells himself, if I say things in a calm way, Marta will probably be more open to listening to me. So, Eddie then decides to be assertive. And he, in, he um, tells Marta, I really think Austin should get to play. But he says it in a calm way. When Marta hears how much Eddie wants Austin to play, she says, okay. They, they smile at Austin. Marta says, hi. Eddie asks, do you want to play? In a friendly voice. Austin smiles back. Eddie throws him the ball. Thanks, Austin says, and he catches it. They have fun playing together. Eddie and Marta enjoy getting to know Austin. 
So, they they problem solved the problem, which was Eddie wanted Austin to play, Marta didn't. They thought of some solutions, and the solution would be if we said no to Austin, the result of that would be a sad Austin. But if we invite Austin to play, the result would be a happy Austin. And isn't it much better to try to encourage and, and help people um, stay calm and happy than it is to leave them out and uh, kind of make them feel sad and, and lonely. So, um, so now what I want you to do with your discussion buddy is you're going to practice inviting someone to play. Um, very simple. You're just going to make sure that you use your eyes and use a calm voice and you're going to use the nice words to invite them to play. So it's a very simple task. You're going to say something like, um, Hello, my name's Mr. Beal. I'm playing basketball. Would you like to play with me? And did you notice how my eyes stayed focused on you? I used a calm voice and I smiled when I talked. And that was a way to help someone feel welcomed in. So my voice sounds friendly and my face looked friendly. And that helps people feel more open to coming to play. So today, when you are interacting with people, I want to encourage you to invite people to play. Invite people into your world because the more people you get to know, the more you will learn and the more skills you will have on becoming a better friend. Because that's the goal, for you to become someone who's a better friend to those around you. Okay, well I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later.